Um, and, and don't say, oh, it's my turn now. When, when it's obviously your turn, just go and just roll it out. Okay. Three, two. With you. Yeah, we're going to say, say, say happy birthday. Okay. I'm going to say my piece. Okay. Then you're going to say your piece, short and sweet, no ums. Okay. And then uh, we're going to finish with happy birthday, Kelly. Okay. And hold it. Right. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Kelly. Kelly! Hey Kelly, it's uh, it's Dad and Mom, and we wanted to just, uh, we thought it might be fun. Mom had the idea of reaching out to your family and friends and asking them to share little video clips about what they really appreciated about you. And so I've put together this video for you, and it's just a collection of some of the clips of some of the clips. <laughs> I'll share the full video with you later. From my perspective, Kelly, you are like a rare jewel. You're um, just very pleasing to the eye. And when you hold it up to the light, it reflects the light. And it's like a prism, so it, it refracts the light. And it's multifaceted. And it's cut by God. <laughs> hey, sweetheart, hi. You know what? You have brought me nothing but joy every minute of every day for the last 30 years. From the doctor saying, it's a girl, to watching you jump off the diving board at three and beating the boys back with the cross, riding the train with Zach at the railroad park, to all of your high school days, to walking across the stage um, at your Akron graduation, holding up your diploma for us to see, the only one who did that the day we sent you off to Cambodia, what bravery, what courage that showed, and culminating in that great day when you were bouncing up and down with such joy to marry the man that you so patiently waited on God to bring you. I could go on and on and on, my dearest daughter. I love you so much, and I am just so, so blessed to have had you in my life. I think it kind of sums it up to say that when I would tell people, yeah, my daughter is going to Cambodia by herself, yes, by herself, to be a missionary teaching in an international school. And they would say to me, you let her do that? And I would laugh, ha, 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 ha. Clearly you don't know, R. Kelly. We wish you the very, very best. Hi, Kelly. Happy 30th birthday. If you're 30, that means I'm 40, which is true. Um, I love you so much and um, can't believe how long our relationship has been. Um, I was going to try to look cute for this video, but then I decided to just put a clean shirt on um, because I have a newborn and life is crazy and that is actually the thing that I love the most about you is that we're real and um, it's been like that for as long as I can remember. So, I'm so grateful for your friendship over the years. I think about you and pray for you um, with the picture I have on the fridge, and I'm so grateful that you've been a part of my life. I'm grateful that you're back here. I can't wait for you to meet our little boy, um, and I'm just so thankful for you and for the 30 years here that you've had on Earth and the way that you've been a blessing to other people through your unselfishness and your love. So, love you so much. Um, and um, can't wait to see you soon. Hi Kelly, happy birthday. Oh my word, I am so happy for you. Um, I know that 30 is a big deal. Um, I remember it, it wasn't that long ago. <laughs> um, and I just, um, it has been a pleasure to um, get to know you as a student in high school. Um, and watch you just grow in your love for the Lord um, and as a woman of God. Um, and I just wanted you to know that I wish you the very best and happiest of birthdays um, as your former teacher, but also as your friend and as a fellow believer. Um, just know that you are loved, that you are cared about and um, prayed for. Um, I am excited for you uh, to have this great birthday and to reach this pinnacle age um, and excited to see what God has in store for you in the future.
Do you remember that time when we were first orienting you guys? And I still remember like taking you guys around, or trying to buy stuff, and then dropping you guys off at that bike place. And then I still, like, I feel like I can't forgive myself for leaving you guys and letting you guys just drive off without me watching you guys. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I did that. God knows what he's doing and he's doing something in those girls through your investment. And um, I'm so thankful that you're here in Cambodia. So happy birthday, girl. You are 30 and don't listen to Panette. You are not old. You are so young. Kelly, we love how intentionally and well you love people. I just love the joy that is on your face when you talk about your students. I've been a benef I've benefited from your love of people because you were in our wedding and you were just so servant-hearted and joyful and um, yeah, you really blessed us with your presence and your love for others. Favorite memory time. First time we ever met, I came to visit Anna in Cambodia and we met and we ate ice cream. Blue pumpkin. Place. Blue pumpkin into a cork. And it was late, and we opted to drive you back to your house on the moto. <laughs> all three of us. All three of us hopped on to that tiny red Honda Wave. I drove. And we drove up the hill. Hurry home. We miss you. Ling Dai. <laughs> There's so many wonderful things that I love about you, but the one thing that I love the most is your willingness to just go above and beyond what is asked of you, what is expected of you. Um, every time you... Uh, respond to that sub email saying that you'll do it or um, every time you fill up that devotion spot um, I think it just tells of how much you're willing to um, pick up that slack uh, and you know help shoulder, shoulder the burden and um, I'm just so grateful for all that you do and um, you really enrich our community and I'm so grateful for you so I hope you have a wonderful day I miss you and I love you You'd come to my classroom and we would just chat on the couch and chill and I think it was really good for me to have a friend like you at school is that you are so kind and you are so generous and cheerful and positive and you were just like this ray of sunshine every time you walked anywhere and everyone loved you, loves you. And my favorite thing about you is that you like to take a lot of random trips everywhere and we've had a lot of fun. My favorite memory with you would be celebrating Christmas at Ohio three years ago and I can't wait to make many more memories in Cambodia. Hi, happy birthday Kelly. My favorite thing about you is how willing you are to get other people organized, especially people like me who are very disorganized. This is a picture of you when you brought me an organization photo the first day of school this year. Also. Thank you so much for uh, being the MC during the Jogathon. This is a video of Kelly when she had the professional head sweat, the hair swing going on. Dang. That's an OP move right there. We just want to say how much we love you and how special you are to us and how thankful we are that um, God saw fit to bring our paths together in Cambodia. So first of all, we've got the beautiful Alaska backdrop and we hope to be able to bring you hiking here someday in the future. And then we also have the best of our talent. we met at Team Coffee Shop. You were full-time teaching at Logos and I was on a short-term mission trip with a Cambodian school. It was a pleasure to spend time with you. 2016 we met again and you invited me to come and share at Logos School with your class about Australia. I could see that you were happy working at Logos and you are well accepted and loved by the staff and students. February 2017, we met again. You were happily, excitedly talking about Spencer 
And then when I heard that you had married the love of your life, Kelly, I was very happy for you. 2018, you invited me to come to your home in Phnom Penh. Spencer cooked and served brunch. That was fun. I could see your jigsaw puzzles, books about the home, CD, music. February 2019, we met at Java Coffee Shop. Kelly, on each of these visits, I have seen you grow and mature to the sweet and delightful lady that you are today. You can see this is my life now. I spend a lot of time here by myself. I'm going a little crazy. Over there is Mr. Jacob's uh, couch. It's completely empty. Over there is my desk, which uh, I sit at sometimes. Monia, you can see she's ditched me. Oh yeah, it is Saturday. I guess I don't have to be here, but I'm still here. Even on a weekday though, it's the same. But I know you miss Cambodia too. So come back to us soon. I love you. And that's one of the things I value about you the most is your love for others. And that's just one of the ways that Christ radiates through you. Um, you can always be seen um, in the background, like picking up trash or bending down and, and tying students' shoes. And one of the biggest things that I miss moving back to the States is not being able to get brunch with you on Sundays. And since I just um, sign my contract with Logos. I hope that this can continue this year. Um, and Spencer can of course come because I will forever be your third wheel. My all time favorite story of Cambodia ever is meeting you and realizing that we are from the same area and that's been such a blessing. Um, as it says, having a piece of Ohio, oh wait, a piece of Cambodia when I'm in Ohio and a piece of Ohio when I'm in Cambodia. Uh, and you've been so encouraging and whatnot when I've been deciding what to do in life and deciding to come back to Cambodia. Um, you were really encouraging and saying that I was an answer to your prayers, but really it's an answer to my prayers to have you and Spencer there um, to just be my family there. Hi Cal, we made you this key lime tart On a key for happy your birthday. birthday. <laughs> and we're so sorry you're not here to have it with us. Who's going to eat it? I guess we will. <laughs> Happy 30th. We love you lots. I'm very grateful for almost 25 years of friendship with you. You know, I know that your life has changed and developed a lot um, over the past few years. So being able to be a part of what your life now looks like. Um, was really special to me because we've spent so many years together. But being able to share that with you, I feel like um, just deepened our relationship even more. With everything that's going on right now, I've just been reflecting on you and Spencer and um, how you're able to come home and still make an impact for God's kingdom from, mm -hmm. um, from here to your actual home. Um, I just think it's, uh, it's a great example for everyone around you and you don't know how much it means to um, God's kingdom and to the kids of Cambodia that you're still doing this for them. I would have to say that the DR is the most foundational to our friendship. Um, I think serving God together is what drew us close in those early years of friendship and that time in life will always have a lasting impression on me. Um, and then if I could just say a quick encouraging word for you, I'm really, I've always been really inspired by your willingness to follow God's leading in your life and you are always ready to obey him even if it's hard. Um, I really respect the lifestyle that you and Spencer have chosen to live together and I always feel really encouraged by you. So my favorite thing about you is you're my daughter's best friend and that you've given your life to the Lord to go to Cambodia, which I think it's pretty amazing um, that you go there and you teach kids and that you go far away from those people that you love and you just do everything for Jesus. 
One of my favorite stories about you is actually one of my favorite characteristics about you. It was when we were heading to the market in Cambodia. It was taking us about 40 minutes and I was trying to have a full up conversation with you when you weren't really replying, which is okay. So I thought that maybe you were one of those people that just doesn't like to talk when they're driving. And so I was just enjoying the views, relaxing. And when we got to the market, you told me the reason you were being quiet that whole time is because you were praying because we were lost. And I think that that turns into one of my favorite characteristics about you is that you can be the peace and the chaos and you give situations to God instead of making it stressful for other people. And that's just one of the many reasons why I love you. I just, I think you are perfect in every way. Beautiful, funny, smart. Wonderful. I love you so much. I'm so proud to be your friend. And I remember driving you guys to Faith Christian in fourth grade and, um, playing the Dixie Chicks and Shania Twain just to kind of mix it up a bit and keep you real and I think the 30s is really special because you really come into your own you're not trying to be in the cool group of women or you're not trying to you know get your college degree and get married and all that you're you're, you're there uh, but now you can bloom so get after it yeah Happy birthday to, uh, you're not getting older, you are really getting better. You're a beautiful woman who is also very smart. I remember when you solved the problem of the vehicle being stuck on the stump that year. I think you were in high school, but of all of us uh, educated people, you were the one that came up with the solution. And I love how you're a problem solver and a helper and just have a beautiful personality. And I hope you have a great birthday. And Leah, how we? Hey Kelly, it's your cousin Matt here from Massachusetts to wish you a very happy birthday. Um, I miss you so much. Tell her I miss Spencer and uh, Dana, Mrs. Spencer. And we have a special surprise for you. Um, this is one of Goggy's famous Congo bar recipe with a birthday candle. And we're here to say, Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Kelly. <sighs> Happy birthday, Kelly. Um, I hope 30 is a beautiful year for you. It was for me. And uh, it's wonderful growing older with you as a cousin. I love you. You're just an amazing person. Thank you so much for your Instagrams. They have meant so much to me. I always share them with Sandy. And I especially like the one where you showed your kittens and said you were giving everybody a moment of relaxation. And I think all of your posts are wonderful and I love them and I love you. Happy, happy 30th birthday. So trivia question for my group. Are you guys ready? Uh, who invented the buggle? What's a buggle? The musical instrument. Oh, you mean a bugle? Who would know that? Uh... <laughs> oh. Happy birthday, Kelly Wise. Happy birthday. I hope it's a great one for you. Happy 30th birthday. Wow. It's good to know you. It's good to have you as a sister. We love you. We miss you. Happy birthday again. It's a bugle. When we went to the Lake Placid family vacation and we found the, we, we were exploring, we found the, the water hole and the cliff jumping and you did it. You jumped off the 60-foot cliff. I just love that about you. Willingness to try new things. Willing to set off on an adventure and to jump into the unknown. We recognize that it's a sacrifice and so we're super thankful um, for you being you know, the, the feet in the hands of, of Christ there. Mm -hmm. It stinks that we are cooped up and can't see you right now, but it's been a real joy to be your sister and um, not just sisters in the family, but sisters in Christ, and I love how much you spur me on to love and good deeds. The sort of fearlessness about you that comes with eating tarantulas and centipedes and scorpions and things like that. There was a long time where I wanted a pet fox, and 
you seemed like you're pretty cool and supportive about that. Uh, some people thought I was crazy, but well, you probably did too, but uh, you didn't tell me, so um, I like that. Hi Kelly, happy 30th birthday. I love you so much and my favorite memory of you is when you were taking care of me at the Royal Phnom Penh Hospital and I just wanted to say that that reminds me of my favorite trait in you and that is that you're so caring, you're so loving, you're so willing to take care of other people and be there for people and you're so willing to give and you come to me sometimes and you're like, Spencer, I just gave away a tip of $20 to the pizza guy and I'm just like, wow, that's amazing, that's so cool, I love you for that, that's awesome and I'm so glad that God led me to a godly woman like you and how respectful you are and how God-fearing you are and how you're always spending time in the Word and you're always reading and it's just so encouraging to me and I love you so much for that and I just, in general, I'm just blown away by how God has provided so much for us and so I hope you have the happiest birthday and I hope that you also see that even though we may not be in Cambodia right now, God is still always at work and he's always providing in so many different ways and others can see that in you that even though we are here we still try and find other ways that we can serve and other things that we can do and so that just makes it all the more better and makes you all the more better and so I love you so much honey I hope you have a wonderful happy 30th birthday happy, happy birthday, birthday Kelly. Kelly yay happy 30th birthday Happy, happy birthday, Kelly. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kelly. 30 years old. Happy birthday, Kelly. Happy birthday, Kelly. Happy 30th, Kelly. We all love you. God bless, Kelly. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kelly. We all love you. Happy birthday. Happy 30th. It's time for the, it's the, the Kelly clap. Happy birthday. Happy 30th birthday. God bless and keep you all the days of your life. Have a wonderful birthday. Okay, love you. Happy birthday. I hope 30 is the best year yet. Happy birthday, Cal. Happy, Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy 30th birthday, Kelly. Happy 30th birthday. Happy birthday, Kelly. We all love you. Mwah. Happy birthday, Kelly. You're amazing. Happy birthday. So today, Kelly, beach, rari, banaikom, no. Happy birthday, Kelly! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Kelly Wise! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Happy birthday. Happy birthday Goody Face! <laughs> happy 30th birthday, Kelly! Happy birthday! I hope you have a wonderful, happy 30th birthday!